G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines at Cleveland in South East Queensland. I've got Rod Elliott with me today, and Rod's the Principal of Australian Marine Centre, and you're an Aquamaster dealer, as well as Suzuki Applewoods. And we haven't tested Aquamaster boats before, but they're a, they're a brand that's been around a long time in South East Queensland, um, around 30 years, and you're the sole Queensland dealer of these boats, so it's really good to actually catch up with, uh, with a long-established uh, aluminium boat maker in South East Queensland. Rod, tell us about the boat today. It's the 490 Centre Console, one of a vast range of Aquamaster Centre Consoles they make, isn't it? It is, Steve, yes. There's uh, plenty of boats in the range. Uh, the Centre Console is quite a, a popular boat, uh, especially for South East Queensland. They, they love their fishing. Yep. Uh, these range from 4.2 up to 6 metres. Uh, again, in the side console is the same range. Yep. Uh, but look, a, a very, very well boat, uh, built boat, mate. We've sold these for about 15 years now. And the callback rate on these is, is next to nothing. Uh, fully welded, internal, external, keel, extra ribs, just a very strong, reliable boat. I think it is. It's, it's a real simple boat, and it, it is. It's the bread and butter for guys that like to come to places like here in Moreton Bay, do a lot of fishing, and for them, you know, the fishing's the important part, not the comfort. It's like maximum maximum uh, deck space in there, um, built to last, and if it gets nasty out there, it's going to get you home, isn't it? Correct, yeah. yeah. Very dry boat, nice spray chine, step up in the bow. Uh, as I said, just a well-built boat and just a, uh, a boat that'll get you there and get you back. Now, that uh, that upswept bow, that's something that a lot more manufacturers are using nowadays, but... Uh, but these guys have been doing it for 15 years. They have, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, one of their sort of trademarks, I guess, and not so much a trademark, but something that they stand by. And uh, yep. I guess uh, some people sort of see a boat and, and go, "That's a good idea," and maybe follow along. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been in the range for a long time now. Now this boat's powered by a 70 horsepower Suzuki. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a Suzuki dealer now. And that's all you sell. It's a it's a stalwart in the range, isn't it? That 70. It is, mate. Yeah, it's it's a great motor. Uh, it's a detuned 90, basically. So this yep. boat is maxed out at 90. Yep. We tend to find that the 70 is certainly a good you know good horsepower. Yep. Uh, it does the, the case for a lot of people. It's a one and a half litre motor compared to the competition's a little bit smaller capacity, yep. a little bit heavier, you know, obviously. But uh, big gearbox, offset drive shaft. They're just an awesome motor. Yep. And you've got this supplied on a mechanically braked single axle Redco trailer. Um, this is essentially towable by anything, isn't it? Weighs in around the ton mark. Yeah, correct, mate. About around about a ton. So most cars, well, any car really can tow it, apart from maybe your little, uh, um, you know, Mitsubishi Mirage. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, but yeah, good, good for the family. You don't have to buy a big four-wheel drive to tow it. It'll get you out there to, you know, the, the closer reefs and on a good day even further out if you wish to. Yeah, there you go. Well, we've got a cracker of a day here in southeast Queensland. It's the sort of day where you wag work to go fishing. So let's take this Aquamaster out on the water and we'll come back to you with some performance statistics. Well, there you go, cracking day in Moreton Bay to be on the water, but not necessarily an ideal day to test the chops of this 490 Aquamaster centre console. Uh, what we could test, though, is the quality of the ride, and it's great. The fully welded hull feels really solid in the water. None of those harmonic rattles and, and little shakes that you get in some of the boats that aren't fully welded. Um, and the 70 horsepower Suzuki, as always, very, very economical engine. This is by no means a racehorse, this boat. At wide open throttle, it gets uh, 52 kilometres an hour at 5,700 RPM at an economy of 2.1 kilometres per litre burned. But if you drop that back to 4,000 RPM, you get great range out of this boat. It does 34 kilometres an hour at 3.4 kilometres a litre. And with a, uh, with a fuel tank of 75 litres, that gives you well over 200 kilometres of theoretical range. Plenty for a day on the bay with your mate or even an overnight trip out to an island somewhere. Um, 
I really think this boat is a blank canvas. Uh, you know, it's got the uh, it's got the Minn Kota mount up the front if you want to add a Minn Kota motor to it. Um, if you want to turn it into a bait fishing boat with a big anchor up the front and some uh, some snapper racks at the back, you could do that. If you want to turn it into a lure casting boat for tuna, you've got that full 360 degree access uh, around the console. So uh, if you're starting out in boating, you want to get out of your $10,000 tinny into something that you can access uh, more inshore waters, more of Moreton Bay waters, more of those waters that can get a little bit rough when it gets windy this might be the boat for you priced from the high twenty thousand dollar mark for a package like this uh, or as tested this boat here sits in the low thirty thousand dollars um the aquamaster should definitely be on your list if you're looking for a, a starter center console that you can tow behind virtually anything for more information go to aquamaster.com.au or you could like the go to their instagram page uh, aquamaster alloy boats thank you for australian marine center for giving us a ride in this boat today